Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode of Coral Island. In the last episode, we started getting things rolling a little bit with um, finding out who the bad guys are. Uh, that being, I think they're called Pufferfish, uh, and they are a drilling company. So they want to put drills all over the place. They're the problem, or they're the reason behind the the oil spills and I guess those black tentacle type vine things we see around the ocean. And they want to put more of that there. We also, though, however, learn the cool part, which is the donation area, the museum. So now we have our kind of community center. I'm really excited for that. But I think it's time to watch TV. Spoils of the land. Hey, back to nature with me, your host, Jenna. You can find shiitake mushrooms in the forest. And obviously, the chance of finding them is higher after a rainy day. Life, Like my life coach always says, rain brings life. Duh. That was nice and quick. Okay, weather forecast. Alrighty, it's going to be sunny. All right, so stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, folks. And then Game of Cones? Oh my gosh. Game of Cones. Hello, viewers. Welcome to Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be the king of cuisine. Oh my god, it's Gordon. So I'm just looking at his picture. Let's see. Oh my god, what they named him. <laughs> As always, our judge is the beady with the heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramses. How are you not being sued? Today, we have two contestants trying to win the heart and stomach of our stony chef here. Gordy, tell us our chefs, uh, tell our chefs today what the theme is. Today's theme is simple and something every good chef should know how to do. Soup. Any soup will do. Chefs, go cook. And they're off. Let's check up on our first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? I'm keeping it simple. Growing up, one of my favorite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. Ooh, that sounds good. That's what I'm going to make today. Mmm, sounds delicious. Let's go to our other contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, what will you be serving our grumpy chef? Can we stop being mean to him? I live by the ocean and it irks me that people throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. It's actually really freaking good. Um, the, the fat and the, and the gelatinous gelatin kind of stuff from the eyeballs and some of the head fat really adds a lot to the thickness and to flavor of the broth. Also, I just noticed the screen, the picture we're seeing in the top left, you can see it on the television screen. That is wonderful. I don't think I've had that before. Let's ask our Shirley chef, chef what, the, what he thinks. Gordy, what makes a good soup? It can be full hearty me it can be a full hearty meal or a side dish that perfectly complements the main. But here I'm looking for soup that can stand on its own, filling, warm, and hearty. And it looks like our chefs are done. Let's take a look at our first dish. What do you think, Gordy? Ooh, very nice. I like the little bit of kick the ginger gives you, and the head perfectly thickens the soup. Well done. That looks, that's the good kind of looking cheese. Let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? I love tomato soup. This is certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it has enough of that wow factor. Delicious nonetheless. Well, it doesn't sound like eat one. Both chefs delivered great dishes, but I think, really, Chef Rob's won the day's challenge. Simple, consistent, and reminds me of the days my mother would, or my mum is what he would say, my mum would take care of me when I was sick. Oh my god, the throne. Congratulations, Chef Rob. Not only have you melted the Grinch's heart, but you also win a lifetime supply of tomatoes and the cast iron throne. Wow, thank you. Um, that throne doesn't look very comfortable, isn't it? It isn't, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. It sure is not comfortable. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, let's go out and tend to our farm. Oh, who are you? Mark. Yes, good morning. I'm Mark. Oh, no. Are you going to be rude? You're the new farmer, I know. Oh, he is. I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. It was closed? Yes, it was closed, and now it's open. Catch any of that? Oh, God, you dick. The band, of the band of smiles cleared up the top level of the cavern. It's safe to roam. No monsters anymore. Just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. Need a sword. Monsters. It is dangerous. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Waste of time. I will prove to you that I am amazing and full of spunk. But first, let me tend to my daisies. Yeah! 
So for full disclosure, um, this is my fourth time trying to record this episode, but this is the first time I made it outside the house. So that guy was a, a new thing for me. Um, the first time I had a very big loud sound in the background. I think my wife had dropped something. The second time guys had run into my room chasing Miss Pants. So she was going <laughs> and being all angies. The third time my wife shouted out because uh, Bobby Yaga knocked over her drink. Uh, let's keep five of each for now. Oh, let's take them to the museum. Um, so that happened. And so then I went back to the coffee shop, got her drink again. And now here I am for round four. Let's hope nothing happens. A Macy Millie. Did you know I was just about to write a piece on the harms of oil drilling companies? And now one appeared right in our homes. Write it. Write it. Me. Alice. I like Alice a lot. She's just, she just seems fun. Did you have your morning walk too? I like how quiet it is in the morning. Right before everyone wakes up, it's just you and the birds. Oh, hey, look. Very cool. Love the inclusion of this game already. Ooh, trash can. Okay. It's fine. I'll take trash. That's fine. Let's see if they want to take in any of my fi or on my fish, my turnips. Donates. Oh, nothing. Oh. Donate artifacts, gems, fish, insects, critters, and fossils. Oh, so you don't... Oh. Okay. Um. I want that. I want that so badly. Um, that's interesting. They, they don't want any veg vegetation, but I'm, I'm gonna keep some because I believe there's cooking. I believe we saw that in the skills tree. Um, I, oh, I didn't notice you in time. You're, are you disappearing? I think you are. Yeah, darn, that was a gorgeous butterfly. Um, okay, well, let's keep going. I want to go check out this cavern now. Oh, open your journal to claim the reward. Um, this is for my first crop. This is for, oh, 150 bucks museum. Oh, and Zoe still wants a carrot. Deadline is four day. Ooh, I have a thousand coral coins. That's awesome. Um, I think I need to make another box. Ooh, I need to bust these open too. Don't, ooh, let's plant you. Uh, I don't think we need a scythe in there. I'll take the bug net, but I won't need you. Let's plant you. I really need to just do a, a full-on cleanup day. That's what I think I need to do, is a full cleanup day. What the breadsticks? The coop? Like a quail? <gasps> Pickle. Oh my god. You don't have the key to this shed. That's right. And rightly so. It's not your rant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll leave. I didn't mean no. Oh my god. These cows. How big are they? Oh, hey. It's attacking. Okay. Hey, Kenny. You're Soul Crest? I heard about you. I heard you're looking for some fresh air away from the city. Fact. Okay, ranch and to the left. Ooh, uh, ooh, hey, went right over that. Okay, compost, I'll take that. What's to the left? Jack, Kira, and Kenny. Stranger? Danger? Are you Kira? This Mark was rude. Ooh, nice noise. You called it a knife? Is that a flute? I like her. A farmer? Okay. I'm Kira. See you around, kid. Okay, good talk. Well, I'm gonna go through your trash. <gasps> fiber. Oh, joy. Fiber tablets. Poor Carl. Oh. Oh, it's just reading cavern. Um. Compost. I have gone up here? If not, it won't budge. <gasps> Ooh. Uh. 
No! Oh, poopy pants. Gotta catch him before... I've gotta get into the... Ooh, there's one. Gotta get into the mood... In the mood? <laughs> into the position and before... Get too close and yeah! Tiger Swallowtail Butterfly. Named for the tiger stripes on its wings. It's gorgeous, mate. Gorgeous. I break these? I can. Ooh. Forageable. Or harvestable, sorry. Canola. Like the oil? It's okay. I didn't know what canola actually was. Is that... Scott? People are telling me jokes about some company changing the museum into oil storage. It's just a joke, right? Um, y yeah. Yeah, buddy, it's just a joke. But what's over here? <gasps> oh my god, is this like the witch's house? Is there a witch? I want to live here. Can I have this house? See anything? Oh, undiscovered area. Ooh. How am I going to get up there? Artifact troves. Ooh, hey, piece of candy. Wasabi? Bruh. That stuff's uber expensive. In real life, at least. Scavengeable. A greenish root with a smooth, hot flavor, commonly eaten as a condiment. Heck yeah, brother, mother, let's go. Oh, it's gorgeous. Ooh, there's multiple doors, but only one is accessible. Is it a reacting to me? Get back, get back! You, the weak-looking farmer, get... Is it Mark? No. Get back from the monsters. Wait a minute. Where are the monsters? Mark said he cleared them out. Well, Mark and I did clear out the top levels, but that quake... Hmm... Shaking happened right after you entered, right? Am I the chosen one? And she's got a heck of a walk. Oh, that is swagger. There's an old myth about certain curses reacting to a presence, but that can wait. My name is Kira. I assume you're the new farmer? I am, and I'm growing carrots. Being a farmer and all, you're probably here to do some mining. In that case, only the other shaft is currently accessible. The elevator over there works, but only down to the first floor. Okay. From there, you'll have to descend by foot. If you go down deep enough, you can restore access to other floors. You've definitely come to the right place to mine for ore and gems. And these caves have, they have them aplenty. Just don't forget they have monsters too. Are you going to give me a sword? Hmm? Or even better, a spear? And a spear. <gasps> Take this sword. You'll need something to defend yourself with. It's a long descent, so make sure you're well supplied. Be careful down there and good luck. I think I want to build, like, three or four chests total. Reach level five, earth shaft, turn the elevator back on. Um, and that. Oh, it's smooth. Interesting pose. What are they afraid of? They look incredibly detailed and somehow, oh my god, they're alive. These are the Junimos, I bet ya. They're well, very well crafted, scared statues. Fire, maybe? Okay. Earth shaft. Ooh, is that coal? Earth essence. Down. Let me watch the volume. Ooh, jump in. 
Hmm. Ooh. Is that gold on the ground? Those are like gold coins. I'm gonna try this. No, okay. Let's uh let's turn down those sound effects. Jesus. Apparently we're just going all the way down. So we we jumped down. I was like, did I Okay, so it's not like a shaft and stuff. Ooh. First monster. It's so cute. Staggered. Oh. Oh, combat's okay. Bronze ore. Ooh, bronze instead of copper. Thank goodness. I was like, man, making weapons out of copper is weird. That's for wires. Also, a purple rock. Oh, nothing. Okay. Um... Why... Is it glowing? Is that good? Is that a trap? What the heck? Oh, I stole a torch. Cool. My torch. Cannot turn on. Need a torch. I have a torch. Um. Ooh, earth essence. Let's go. I think that's for um, upgrading things, right? That's got to be like a trap or something, right? Let's see. Can we? No, nothing. Okay. Um, I'll get used to the controls someday. Let's see. What can I get rid of? Let's get rid of... What do I use with compost? A mixture of decayed organic materials used to craft fertilizer. That makes sense. Um, well, let's actually eat. Apparently we eat canola. That sounds disgusting. Gimme. Shoot. Some of these only take one hit, which is really nice. Let's kind of focus them for a minute, these smaller ones. Ooh, coal. Oh, I was like, that one was a little darker. I was hoping it would give us what we wanted. Coal is what I was thinking. I wonder if this one is different. Like, is it make a, like some kind of puzzle, maybe? Because only one of those is working. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Oh, jellies. Slimes. That's neat! Oh my gosh. Oh, they've got little smiles. It makes me sad. It's like drag. Ooh, what are you? Okay. Let's see what we can drop. We have one piece of wood. Let's drop it. For some slime goop. I didn't mean to do that. Oopsies daisies. Well, I guess we need to eat this anyways. What if we go hot, hot, hot? Aw, oh, we don't. That would've been fun. I worry we're not gonna make it to floor five unless we just get lucky with, okay. We just need one more route, one more floor. Go. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so we got lucky. There's no... Ooh, you... Interesting, you go back. What is that? Silky... F Why do you have silky fur? Ooh. Probably 
probably helps if I hit them. <laughs> Ow. Get him! Oh, Bumbles. St stealing all the torches. I'm up in your minds, stealing your torch. Nope, I wanted to steal the torches. There we go. Let's take it out because we there is a combat um, skill that I want to obviously level up. But yeah, let's get to level five. And I think this is copper or, or bronze. Nope. Okay. Fine. Don't give me what I want. I won't cry. It's okay. Quest complete. What? What? That is super cool. You have a vein in the ground that you kind of extend. Okay, okay. Ooh, there's another one. Ooh, hey, we found the thing too. But first. Oops. Holy smacks, how far are you gonna go, brother mother? Oh, got him. This is such a cool little system right there. I dig that. Okay, so it is active, good. Um, just to pop down and see what's down here. I wonder if I could fish there. Gust of wind dance. Ooh, some more silky fur. Hmm, more of that. Spin a rooney. Might as well snag some torches while I'm here. Are they going into my inventory? No, they're not. Hmm. Maybe I'm not taking them, I'm just... You know, hitting them. Okay. I'm, I'm extinguishing them. Okay. Well, the mines are cool. Um, into the mines. Made some money. Let's do it. I probably should have read that. Maybe Kira likes me now. Oh, gosh. It's late. Anything new when I walk in now? No? Okay. That's okay. Well, that is a nice little introduction to... Well, the mines. I like it. It's very stardewy. It's um, not overly challenging, but boy, do I need some heckin... I don't have stuff. I don't have room. Uh, do I need space? That's what I need. <sighs> Dang it. I don't have that bug yet. <laughs> um. Oh, no. This way. Wonder. I don't know. Let's go see if they want any of this stuff turned in. Gosh, we literally spent the whole day there. I did not realize that. Okay, let's see if they want this butterfly or possibly even this these monster bits. Okay, I could see that as a thing. I do like how close it is to home. Donate. Just that. Okay. Okay. We're, we're, we're making progress. Little by little. I do need to start collecting fish to turn in. We, we used up a good chunk of our energy as well. So we, it was a very productive day. I can dig that. Um... Um, 
gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, it's right button. Okay, so I'll put that away. Oh no, I want you. What does it take to make another chest? I have the stuff, good. Aw, oh, they can't be combined, darn. Um, okay, so stuff. Let's see. Um, stuff from the mines will go here for now. Oops, please come back, please. That works. And let's uh, get some eye shut. Hopefully, we still, we went to bed early enough to get our full thing. Ooh, farming level up to one. Makeshift scarecrow and fertilizer, plus three stamina. Same, explosives one, okay. We made some cash. Alrighty. Unlocked explosive, unlocked fertilizer, unlocked scarecrow. Very good. Spoils of the land. Hey, back to nature with me, your host, Jenna. Oh, same thing. You said this yesterday. Hmm. That's the forecast for tomorrow. Sunny day, darn. Tele telenovela. Duplication. Duplicitation, sorry. Duplicitation. Mom, what is it? What, can't a lady check up on her daughter? You can, but I'm in a rush for my next audition. Funnily enough, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. But how could you do this to me? Cut. Thank you for your time. We will contact you if we get the part. Uh, how do you think it went? Am I really that bad of an actor, Tasha? Is that how I look? Is it my vibe? Is it? Oh, I gotta go, Tosh. Got a customer. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the watering hole. How may I serve you? Mysterious man. Funny you should ask that. I have a proposition for you. Oh, sir, I'm... I'm afraid we're not that kind of establishment. I'm perfectly aware. I've done my research on you. I'm here to offer a job, an acting job. If you're interested, come to this address tomorrow at 8 p.m. sharp. If you're late for even one second, consider the offer revoked. Yes, sir, I'll be there. To be continued. Ooh, we've got these things to look forward to. These little, like, tell... Who are you? Oh, it's Pablo. Hello, hello. What could be better than a visit from your local blacksmith? Uh, word around town is you've started to mine the earth shaft, and that's actually why I'm here. As you mine, you'll come across ores. What good does that do me? You might be thinking, well, you can turn ores into bars. With enough bars, our shop can upgrade your tools. Work smarter, not harder, as I like to say. For a fee, of course. <laughs> uh, to make bars, you'll need a furnace, which you can now craft, courtesy of this blueprint. Aw, thanks. It's just like Stardew. Damn, I hit the table. You need five of the same ore to make one bar. You also need one charcoal to fire up the furnace. Yep, I think you're all set now. Don't change the blueprint, just, you know, work with it. Craft a furnace. Let's see, explosives. Generate a small explosion, useful for combat. Dangerous. Okay. Scarecrow, discourage crows from disturbing crops. Only a five by five? Oof, that's not a lot. Um, I need a sneeze. That was a good sneeze. Let's make a scarecrow though, just a... Well, at least it shows you. Ugh. It is not a lot of space. Ugh. Okay. Grab that. No, what? There we go. Let's just grab one of these. Nope. There we go. Okay. Oh, and it even shows me the time for it. I dig that. 
quite a bit. Let's water up. We haven't had any problems, knock on wood, with um, crows yet, but hey, who knows what will happen today, eh? So part of me wants to do some cleanup. Another part of me wants to do um, fishing. I'm torn. Really torn. But for now, let us... I feel like fishing or um, cleaning would be a really good idea because then we get um, resources as well. Let's do a little bit of that. Let's clean from left to right, or right to left at this point. We made a bar. Honestly, this is the sort of thing I just absolutely love to do in these kinds of games. Just clean up. Get your farm, your space in a workable kind of form. Enjoy the fruits and, and cleanliness of your labors. Put on the ground. Oh, it was a pine cone, okay. And there's a maple seed. Alrighty, we're gonna start. Oh goodness. Um there are hot springs here, right? Um so let's see. Hot springs. Um ranch. Carpenter. Manor. Blacksmith. School, house, house, um, hmm, is it up here somewhere, is this it? No, that's the observatory, oh, hot springs, okay, up here, so I guess I go, the door, at the door, I don't know, um, so, Let's go north until we pass a whole bunch of trees. Here's me hoping that the hot springs works like it does in Stardew. Oh, hot springs north. Ooh, mushies. Let's go. Entrance ahead on the left. Okay. I guess this is it? Oh, hey, who are you? <gasps> Wait. Did I not? Oh, I didn't bring it. Morel, very nice. Takeba. Is that you, Taro? Oh, no, it's I'm not Taro. Sorry to disappoint you. Out of service. Um, that's a shame. It's a cute bear. Well, it means we have like no energy, so I'm gonna have to, I guess, eat stuff. It's like a buy food. I think that's at the inn. All my years living here, I never would have thought an oil company would ever move here. What should we do? <gasps> the taco shop. Yes, may I help you? My name's Luke. Pleasure's mine. Aw, oh, shucks, Luke. Don't mind me as I, uh, take, literally take people's trash. Morel. Let's do. I mean, inventory's full. Oh. Okay. That was weird. Uh. Hey there, Zolkris. It's good to see you. I'm just heading to Raja's Coffee. Are you here to socialize? Um, yeah, by the way, what's with the pufferfish scene? Ah, the scene. Yeah, it's easier if I show you. Oh. 
Let's head to the community center and chat there. My coffee can wait. No, we could get coffee together and then chat. I, I would like that. Our rank is F? See that large F on the town rank board? Yes, that's us. It didn't happen suddenly, though. This room used to be the pride and joy of our town, proudly displaying Starlet's A rank. It's an A, Soul Chris. Sometimes we got a B, but it was never an F until... I need to sit down to tell you what happened. This is terrible. Some time ago... Judge Ross? That's correct, Mayor. As usual, every season we start by looking at why people visit Starlet Town. Visitors come here to see your museum, heritage sites, and ocean. The town rank we award is based on the condition of these attractions at the time of review. Today, we're awarding Starlet Town the rank of... F. Say what? Karen. Hello? Listen, prepare all necessary documents and equipment. I found the perfect location. She sabotaged it. <clears throat> Last year, an oil spill from the neighboring island made its way here and wrecked havoc. Everything went downhill from there. Karen was there at the town rank hearing. They've been watching us this whole time. Those conniving pufferfish people. You heard what she said the other day at the new pufferfish building. Their plan is to rescue us in their brand new rebrand Starlet Town as an oil town. Just the thought of abandoning our legacy, the museum, ocean, and heritage sites, it's hard to accept. Oh, by the way, I was told that this is not based off Japan, but Polynesian Islands, so sorry for not knowing that, but thank you for letting me know. On the other hand, thinking about our town going under is harder. Our town used to be good, Soul Chris. Great, even. Business was booming. The town was lively. I'm afraid that unless we can increase the town rank back to A and regain the trust of visitors, we'll have no choice but to work with Pufferfish. Refilling the museum seems straightforward and achievable. It'll just take time. But healing the sick heritage sites and getting rid of those stubborn roots in the ocean? Uh, where do we even start? How do we even start? I don't know. Our town is a difficult, in a difficult position. It's a lot to take in, I know. How about you join me for coffee? The walk of fresh air will do us both good. I would love some coffee. Um. Okay. Is everything all right? Oh, I'll be back here to read that. The spirits call out to us. Town rank. Showcase your overall progress in revitalizing the town. Raise the town's rank by improving the ocean, museum, and heritage. Dang. No coffee. Hmm... Are you doing yoga in the middle of town? I mean, that's cool. <gasps> Wait, you run the place? I don't care about all these oil talk. I'll care when they can supply us with better weapons and amenities. Oh, why is it out of stock? Hmm, why is the pet dialogue not working anymore? Kimba's busy and can't talk right now. Nah, <laughs> he's scooped poop. Frankie looks happy today. Okay, good, it's working again. I met Frankie. Mr. Fluff. Peace drum. Hmm. Yeah, it's not always working and that's upsetting. Ooh, Millie's running the library. It's open. Is it ever closed? I don't know. But I'm here to go read that Thing. Or not. Didn't want to anyways, that's fine. I want the magic. 
But let's actually go to Raj's coffee shop. That might be a really good place to get some extra energy. That or the inn. You know, I have, it sounds like they have food there. Leah is busy right now. Fair enough. Fair enough. I think Raj's was over here, right? Close. Ooh, can I get that from here? Looks like yes! I can Oh. Just sleeping. I'm not sure where to stand on this pufferfish thing. Anyway, I hope they pay good tips when they're getting some coffee. Speaking of... Oh, turtles, it's butters! Peanut. And Noah. Oh, hey, I have to say, you're not what I expected. I don't know what that means. That sounds really weird. Well, we didn't find Raja, so let's go to the inn. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we'll have to work with the mermaids to clean the island. Oh, hey. hey. It's a bit stuffy in here. We should open more windows. Okay. And do that. Um, maybe I can't buy food here? Toasty, you chuckle at your. Oh my god. That's kind of great. Yeah, we gotta find uh, Raj's coffee shop. I believe it was somewhere over here. Um. Oh no, let's go to the beach shack. That's probably where we can get some food. Sonny's gonna yell at us. He's old and his ears don't work well. Do you sell food, though? I like the fishing people and the bug peoples. Oh, it looks like food. Chop. Grilled fish. Well, I need to... Can I sell to you? I cannot. So, um... What am I doing? Uh, let's... That will eat the shiitake. We will shop. That's expensive. But it's worth not having to stop for the day. Not a ton, though. Solgris, did I say it right? I'm Waku. Pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the ticket. On the boat. Yep, the one with the hat. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Well, at least we can pick up this clam over here. I really need to upgrade my back. Ooh, it was 500. It was at Sam's, right? Sam's. Sam. Michaeline Center, Carpenter. Lab, uh, what? Pufferfish. Ugh. Vineyard. Um. Oh! Fish and sips, I love. Ooh, Yuri's there. <clears throat> I mean, we should go have a coffee, you know? No uh, particular reason. Ooh, trash can. Inventory full. Okay. We tried. Are you taking selfies? Ugh, the sun is so bright today. It hurts my eyes, but it's such good lighting for photography. Okay. Hate taking photos. Oh, there's stairs right there. Wait. No, there's not? There is? I don't know. Powerful. It hurts me? That's not how coffee works. That's a lot of energy. Hi, Yuri. Um, don't worry about Charles. He's in good hands. I've got everything under control. Let me do the worrying for the both of us. Cool? 
I should wear regular clothes more. I'm too lazy to change after my shift, so I go around in scrubs. Well, they look great on you. Um, let's drop this. Let's make this. Give her a gift. I can't eat. Oh. Oh. She. She. Damn. Okay, so she likes food. Understandable. It's a failed. Di Why would I buy it? That is super expensive. Sake, kombucha, basil, pesto, pasta. Two seventy-five. Hmm. Three hundred. This allows to get to work today. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's four p.m. I think I've wasted my money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're allowed to make mistakes in these games, okay, folks? Don't let it get you down. There's Sam's shop. Let's buy a... I kind of forgot we wanted to go there. Let me buy a new backpack. Uh, upgrade bag. Yes! How much for the next one? Oh my god, $3,500. But, look at that space! Every time I do, I say... Face. I don't know. I got nothing there. Um. Who is the pink haired girl? I don't think we met her. You said you're a farmer, right? <laughs> that explains the outfit. How cute. Oh. Frank's been the grill master for the past decade, so I think you'll do again this year. Oh, you know, for Cherry Blossom Festival. Dude, nice hat! Oh, it's Kenny! Okay. I'm in my blood boil. Yeah, I get you, fam. I get you. Um, don't mind me. Ooh, wasabi. Nice. Who are you? Antonio. Huh? Mm -hmm. Ah, the new resident. Yeah, that, that's that's me. Well, we met. How many people have we met? Um... Oh, do we not have a quest to meet everybody? Kind of thought we would. Oh well. That's okay. Put it away, put it away, put it away. Um... Alright, let's get to work. That is so much trash. Makes me sad. Let's get it. Strange that I can't... What did I just pick up? Glass? That will probably come in handy. What I really like to get rid of are the trees, just because they... They take up, they, they block your, your vision is what they do. And I like being able to see stuff. So what I often do in Stardew Valley is tackle the trees as early as possible. Just so I can see what's going on. You know? Let's do that. Let's get that some Fibre, some Moople Suits. Pretty sure that's how that word, those words pronounce, Moople Suits. Uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm... Pretty certain I'm 100% accurate. Moople suit. That is so much trash. Oh my god, it makes me want to cry a little bit on the inside. But hey, we'll just clean it up, won't we? Now, some of those trees are really small, so I think I'll leave them alone so that they can grow and therefore get actual stuff from them. But let's clear this path up a little bit. 
work with one tool at a time. I think that's a bit nice to do. Okay, good. I can't get rid of you. This will be a great way to get our foraging up, I believe. I don't know if these rocks are upping our um, mining or not. In fact, let's find out. Um... <gasps> That's where they are. Wait, what? What are all these? Where are they? Lindy! Right and alert, this yellow lizard is often seen sunning on the rocks. Okay, so these are people that... Whoa. Oh. Sorry, is that an insect person? What is that? I need to meet that. It looks like Pico from um, uh, Breath of Fire 3. By the way, I've done a Let's Play of Breath of Fire 3. You should go check it out. Mastery, that's what I wanted to see. Uh, mining is at 59. Ooh, got some coal. Let's do it. And then... Or sorry, 52. I don't think these rocks are giving us any stuff, and that's okay. Give me that acorn. I'm sorry, oak seeds. Do acorns come from oak trees? I don't actually know. I know I said I'm a teacher, but I'm, I'm teachers don't know everything. We're often very con. I mean, I'm a kindergarten teacher, and I used to be a physicist, so I'm not a botanist. Let's put it at that. Oh, a botanist. Get him! And, okay, so we are making really good use of that extra energy we got, which is fantastic because this already looks so much better. Um, starting to feel tired? Okay, then we'll stop. Um, we will put stuff Oh, oh, no glass. You go here. I'll count you as that kind of thing. Um, uh, I want my... I want... Mm, no. I, sell. I would like to sell something. Um, oh, that tells me that I've already donated it. Fantastic. Um, take one morel. They want morels. I don't know. Guess we can find out. Hmm. Let's go find out. We've got time. Um, all right, there's a sword button. Very good. There we go. I need to go process the chest and the geode I have as well. Um, that would just be a good idea. Hey, if we see a bug on the way. No? Darn. I thought there were more bugs. Nope, no more else. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's any kind of indication on an item. Hmm. Next time we get a fish, we will take a peek. I think. That might be a good idea, yeah? Yeah. Let's do that. Um, slash. Okay, we're, we're not gonna... We're not going to tempt fate. Go to bed. I think the money will start rolling in soon enough. Okay, again, maybe I'll do a big fishing day. That could be a good idea. Let me know if you're interested in a big fishing day. Oh. Senior here. 
Can you hear me? <gasps> you hear a voice, but can't make out what it's being said. I, I just made it out. Dole Christ. Try to focus on my voice. Good. Now listen closely. So pretty. The sacred trees. Please visit any one of them. Find them around the island. Ooh, there's one directly to uh, north of us. Cure those sick illnesses. One, maybe that's where like we'll need different types of donations. There's so many. Touch the tablet to summon them. They will open your eye. You are my hope to heal the island. Now wake up and go, Solchrist. I am the chosen one. You had a strange dream last night. Inspect the tablet at the sacred tree. But folks, that is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you all. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Very cool. That is going to be the end of this episode. I want to say thank you again for anybody and everyone that is watching this. Uh, if you are enjoying it, definitely hit the like button, you know, all that good stuff and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But in all reality, just thank you for being here. I hope you have a great day. We will talk another time, but do take care of yourselves. Until next time, bye-bye for now.